to Project Drive Safer. This is TMJ4's year-long commitment to telling stories to combat reckless driving. And in our town hall Monday night, several community members asked what it takes to become a driver's ed teacher. So our Ryan Jenkins went out to find out. While reporting on this story, not only did we learn that instructors need to go through a bunch of training and qualification to get the job, they need to re-up on those qualifications almost every year. With reckless driving top of mind for drivers on Milwaukee streets, we set out to find what it takes to be qualified to teach someone to drive safely. First thing you got to do is pass the permit test at the DMV, pass the written test, pass a 50 question driver instructor's test, and then they had to set up an instructor's road test that we have to do parallel parking, wide turn, bagging up, hill parking, an emergency stop. Stevie Davis has been teaching driver's ed for nearly two decades. We have to go on a highway, we got to do lane changes, come back, come around the other side and do lane changes, and we got to know 20 parts of inside the car. You got to say what this is and what its function is. He says the process to become an instructor is set up by the state's Department of Transportation. And Jody Donabar with MPS Drive has gone through the training too. It's a 40 hour training, but then they also have to do, they pass a test and then they have to do behind the wheel um, and pass that in order to get their license to teach. Some instructors can also take college credits in driver's education or be qualified by the state's Department of Public Instruction. After that initial qualification, the training doesn't stop. It is a yearly training to give them updates um, to keep them, you know, in the field, know the rules of the road, um, and if anything changes, then they have to be up to date on that. Mr. Davis said there's an annual physical too, and biannual seminars. Every two years, we have to do a four-hour seminar to get our license renewed. And beyond what's required, driving instructors need to be relatable and relevant to their students. They train us on certain things, and I have actually self-educated myself on some things to get better at my job, what I do. For example, Mr. Davis teaches his students defensive driving techniques and about their rights should they ever be pulled over by the police. I said it's one thing to teach somebody how to drive, but it's another thing to teach them how to drive to stay alive and survive. An important job and a career that offers you a chance to create safer roads for all. Reporting for Project Drive Safer, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. All right, Ryan, thanks. And we want to remind you that a key part of Project Drive Safer is hearing story ideas from you, the viewer. You can share those story ideas by emailing us at projectdrivesafer at tmj4.com.